Hey, what's up everybody? It's Badger DIY back here again, and today we got something really special, which is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7, and this one's the jet black color, which looks really slick. We're going to do a hands-on, check out our specs, test some games, and even try pairing it with the Fire TV remote, just for fun. So if you enjoyed these deep dives and hands-on tests, do me a huge favor, smash that like button and get subscribed so you don't miss the next one. Inside the box you'll find a phone, a USB-C cable and the usual paperwork. Samsung went minimal on accessories again, but that's typical these days. So let's take a look at the phone. The Flip 7 is super compact when folded and is the lightest in the series at around 188 grams. The jet black finish is very understated, perfect if you don't want something that screams for attention. On the outside, there's a much larger 4.1 inch flex window display at 120Hz and inside you get a 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X main screen. Both screens hit up to 2600 nits peak brightness so they stay visible outdoors. Samsung completely refined the hinge, it feels solid and the gap is minimal. This one also rated IP48 for water resistance. Under the hood, the Flip 7 uses Samsung new Exynos 2500 chipset with a 10-core CPU and Xclips 950 GPU. It's built on a 3NM process, so it should offer better efficiency and improved AI performance. Our unit has 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. There's also a 4300 mAh battery with 25W wired charging and 15W wireless charging. For cameras, you're looking at 15 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel selfie. One of the biggest additions this year is Samsung DeX. The Flip series finally supports DeX, so you can turn this tiny phone into a desktop environment. We'll test that in a bit. Now I'm curious if the Fire TV remote works as a basic Bluetooth controller on the Flip 7, so let's try it out. On the phone you can go to settings, connections, bluetooth, pair new device. Now I'll hold the home button on the fire stick remote for about 10 seconds until it starts blinking. That puts it in the pairing mode. And there it is, Amazon remote pops up, tap to pair and we are connected. Navigating the home screen with the remote works surprisingly well. The directional pad scrolls through icons and the selected button launches app, apps. This could be useful for controlling the phone from across the room. To really test the remote, I've installed a TV style launcher. You can go to GitHub and grab Project IV launcher. It's designed for Android TV but works on phones. Once installed, we'll go ahead and launch it. Now, with the Fire Stick remote, the interface feels like using a TV box. You can scroll left and right, open YouTube or launch a streaming app. It's purely for fun. One UI 8 is still there, but still, this shows how versatile the Flip 7 can be. Now, let's check out Samsung DeX. I hooked up the Flip 7 to this portable 1080p monitor using a USB-C wire connection. There's also wireless decks if you have a Miracast compatible TV, but I prefer wired. When I toggle decks in the quick settings, it launches in the desktop interface. The phone screen turns into a touchpad, apps open in resizable windows, and I can drag them around just like on a PC. I can open Chrome, YouTube, and the game launcher. It's smooth thanks to the Exynos 2512 gigs of RAM. Now, Dex gives you a PC-like experience in your pocket, and many of you will agree. Remember, the Flip 7 is the first flip phone to support Dex, which is a huge plus if you like to travel light. Now, let's get into some small game testing. First up is Roblox. I loaded up Sonic. Graphics are set to automatic. Everything's running at 60 FPS without hiccups. The larger 6.9 inch display and 120Hz refresh rate makes it very playable. Next up is Fortnite via the Epic Games Launcher. I'm running medium settings at 60fps. The game looks great and stays smooth for the few minutes I'm playing. 
the phone does warm up slightly but performance remains steady. As a bonus, I'm going to jump back into DeX and open Console Launcher. It appears as a desktop window, it lists all the installed games and apps, plus if you have a Bluetooth controller and a bigger display, this turns the Flip 7 into a mini console, so that is pretty slick. So that's the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7. It packs a powerful Exynos 2500 chip, 12 gigs of RAM, up to 512 gigs storage, a long lasting 4300 mAh battery, and that beautiful jet black finish. The larger flex window and deck support makes it most versatile flip yet. If you need luxury power in a pocket friendly form and want to dabble with the desktop mode, this is worth considering. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more deep dives and gaming tests, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. And if you have any questions about Flip7 or ideas for what I should cover next, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.